Welcome to Heart of Poland. We are on, and I can hardly believe I'm saying this, the 100th and 9th edition of Poland's longest running, most informative, uh, long form chats about anything and everything to do with Poland. We're talking to change makers and boy, oh boy, have we got someone fascinating to talk to today. Mr. Shimon Kloska is with us. Uh, hello, Shimon. Hello, hello. Okay, so Shimon, we're going to talk about Stanisław Lem. Now, uh, again, I think I always think about what it was like for me before I came to Poland and I didn't know very much about Poland. And the film Solaris, which is based uh yeah, i think lem didn't watch the film but was on record as saying that none of the various film versions of this book uh came out very well but i have to tell you it terrified the hell out of me as a as a young teenager that film uh and the book is by all accounts an absolute fantastic i've never got around to reading it in my embarrassment you are running in your day job amongst all the many things you do uh the this this festival about stanislav lem this remarkable polish author uh that you on record as saying is your favorite can, can, can you tell us a bit more about the man lem uh and about his life and times well uh this is a uh, extremely interesting and long story and a story yes. that keeps on <laughs> keeps on changing because uh lem was pretty shy to himself he didn't uh pretty shy and kept to himself he didn't talk openly about his biography and about his past uh we now know, thanks to Wojciech Orliński and thanks to Agnieszka Gajewska and their biographies of Stanisław Lem, uh, what he went through in pre-war and war Poland in Lwów, uh, where he was born and he, uh, where he spent his youth. And uh, these were some extremely dramatic stories and uh, traumatizing stories, which uh, in uh, form uh, uh, and scope that was uh, I don't think expected by any of his readers uh, before, uh, shaped his uh, writing uh, uh, as well, and uh, uh, most of it. Uh, then in 1945, uh, he came to Krakow and stayed here for the most of his life, uh, uh, shortly living in, uh, uh, in Berlin and, and Vienna. Uh, and, uh, uh, and wrote uh, uh, for, uh, for greater part of his life, he actually uh, debuted as a poet uh, in, uh, in Lvov. Uh, uh, these poems were uh, subsequently republished in, uh, in Polish. Uh, they're not nearly as good as his, as his fiction and essays and uh, philosophical texts, uh, uh, but, uh, but yeah, he, 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 he debuted as a, uh, as a poet. And uh, I think that if his biography were to turn out differently, so if it wasn't for the, uh, the horror of World War II, and if it wasn't for the uh, uh, communist regime that established itself in Poland uh, after 1945, he would uh, probably not have become a writer. He, uh, he would uh, uh, most likely be an inventor or a scientist or a, a, uh, 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 or a scholar or a philosopher, possibly, uh, but uh, uh, the historical events pushed him uh, uh, towards writing, and uh, uh, and he stayed on the, on that path for for most of his life. Uh, uh, beginning with uh, uh, science fiction uh, uh, writing, then writing some philosophical uh, uh, philosophical essays, uh, uh, and. Uh, uh, all of which are still uh, read in Poland and abroad. There are new translations coming up. Uh, he was uh, uh, a writer who was both pessimistic uh, or some say just simply realistic about life and human race, and uh, also extremely funny uh, when we look at books uh, such as Star Diaries, for example. Which is his most famous English language book then? Would it be Solaris because of the film and, and everything around it? Uh, I guess Solaris, yeah. Uh, although, uh, please do watch for a uh, translation. One uh, translation into English uh, is via French. And I think that the best uh, uh, translation was done by aforementioned Brian Johnson uh, and it's uh, uh, available in the form of audiobook or it can be purchased uh, via Amazon uh, 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 but it's not in uh, uh, in physical distribution in the English speaking world so only uh, can be purchased via Amazon uh, uh, but also Invincible uh, uh, also Star Diaries uh, uh, 
uh, I have, yeah. Mm-hmm. You're the you're the curator, as you already mentioned, of the LEM 2021 program. How on earth, uh, and this sounds like Mission Impossible, do you run a program like that in the middle of a massive epidemic? And where, as at the time of recording, it looks like Poland's in a sort of third wave of coronavirus. It must have been, I guess, last year. I think you were doing another program, weren't you? And uh, things must have got interrupted quite a lot. You've had a bit more time probably to prepare for this year. Uh, yeah. Well, stranger things have been done before, and so, uh, <laughs> but uh, I have to say it's a ah, uh, oh, it's not an easy situation at all. And we've planned, uh, uh, we've planned obviously uh, uh, for a different set of events. Mm. Well, first of all, I have to say that uh, uh, Lem's birthday, uh, which is in September, has been celebrated in Krakow for. The past few years now, uh, uh, with uh, uh, a story of the land planet sort of looming in the background, and that's something that uh, is uh, of extreme importance for us, and also uh, a guiding light of sorts. So, uh, uh, even though 2020 year is uh, uh, is land centennial, uh, we're not focusing on events that will happen this year, but uh, really. Uh, 2024 and farther uh, is the uh, uh, is the goal is the horizon that we're looking at uh, given the uh, uh, the planet LEM uh, idea and the planet LEM structure which will which will be uh, 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 hopefully erected in Krakow by uh, 2024. But having said that, uh, we are carrying out already. Uh, a, a number of programs which will uh, uh, mainly for now be available online via a um, new internet uh, platform called uh, Krakow Play, which is like a uh, cultural Netflix of uh, uh, Krakow and of Poland really recently because uh, it, uh, 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 it has a, uh, uh, an extreme, uh, 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 extremely impressive amount of materials, uh, not only from uh, literature, but also theater, music, arts, and so forth. Uh, but hopefully by September, uh, we will be able to uh, do some things with uh, a real audience. Uh, uh, the events that we've planned will concentrate in uh, Krakow Congress Center and Pałac uh, uh, Potocki, which is a new, uh, Headquarters for the uh, Krakow City, City of Lit- Krakow UNESCO City of Literature program, and also there will be a large uh, uh, outdoor uh, exhibit showing uh, most interesting uh, uh, covers of things of uh, 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 Lem's books published uh, throughout the globe for the past uh, sixty years, uh, and. Uh, now we're looking for. Uh, 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 now we're looking at uh, 120 events that are planned between 10th and uh, 14, 14th of September here in Krakow. Uh, whether they will be online or offline or mixed, uh, we'll see. Wow, you must be the busiest man in the world. I know you've just done an interview and you're doing this interview now. Uh, that sounds like an awful lot of work. Tell us a little bit more about Planet Lem just before we finish up here. What's 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 that going to look like? Is it going to be some strange futuristic object hanging in the sky? What's what's going to be inside? Almost, almost. Uh, the plants already are uh, available. Uh, the first. Uh, 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 as there was an international architectural competition for uh, the land planet, it, uh, uh, it has been won by Yem's uh, uh, architects uh, uh, from uh, Warsaw. And it's a wonderful structure that is uh, lem like in spirit, but also uh, 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 very. Um, very well positioned and settled in the area of Krakow where it is planned, namely Squad Solny, which is uh, next to uh, uh, Podgorze across the river from uh, uh, from Kazimierz. And that is, uh, the limp planet is uh, sort of uh, uh, on uh, one of the beads uh, that, uh, that make for uh, a necklace uh, of uh, Krakow uh, cultural institutions. 
uh, beginning with uh, uh, Mozart and Krikoteka and so forth. And uh, the last one of them will be uh, the Lamp Planet. What we've done actually is we've uh, first uh, very carefully uh, designed program of this future institution, which will comprise of mainly three legs. First one being the program run by the uh, uh, Krakow UNESCO uh, uh, City of Literature program, including Konrad Festival, Milos Festival, a number of things that we do. Uh, secondly, uh, there will be a permanent exhibition based on Lem's ideas and his narratives, more so than on his biography. Uh, and uh, a third part will be a, a museum de, uh, of language and communication, which is a joint initiative of Krakow, but also of uh, uh, of uh, a foundation uh, devoted to this very idea. And so, having this uh, very detailed. Uh, ideological plan. Uh, we then carried out the uh, architectural uh, competition. Now there is a competition on the way for uh, the uh, uh, visual uh, uh, visuals of, of the land planet. And uh, it should be done. It should be done by 2024. Whether, uh, whether these dates will be, uh, will be kept, time will, time will show. Yes, time will show. Well, a lot's going to change between now and then, but it sounds like in Krakow, pretty much every day, week, month or year you go, there's something exciting uh, going on. Is there anything we haven't talked about that you'd like to let uh, people know about what's happening in Krakow or happening in Poland or maybe an author to check out just as we bring this interview to an end? Uh, well, uh, please do check uh, uh, Krakow Play for uh, new things LEM related, but also be on the lookout for new publications of LEM uh, in Poland and abroad. I know that actually uh, 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 a fantastic graphic novel done by uh, John J. Muth, uh, published uh, in the US, is coming to Poland in uh, uh, June, but also uh, new publications of LEM's novels. Uh, uh, but also uh, at least four books on Lem himself, uh, and in addition, two first ever publications for children on Stanisław Lem. So one short biography uh, uh, for kids, and uh, uh, and like a guidebook uh, 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 guiding you through the most prominent characters from uh, Lem's fiction. Uh, so yeah. Be on the lookout for all things LEM related. Something Both in about Poland his, and abroad. It's, there's something about the surname LEM. It just gets me. There's something catchy about it. I, I think it's a magnificent. Uh, and then when you look at the pictures of him as well, there's that wonderful picture of him in the little cosmonaut. Uh, it's online. one of the reasons why Philip uh, Philip Dick uh, didn't uh, didn't think it possible that he existed, uh, <laughs> starting with uh, with the surname, uh, which he was convinced was made up by uh, uh, by Soviet espionage. Yeah. <laughs> what a character what an amazing life and as he's mentioned at the start there's there's more to come out there's research done on his time in the wolf uh, helping the polish underground uh which which sounds like it's very promising so there's a lot more to come from this author yeah. well ladies and gentlemen that was shimon kloska thank you shimon very much for joining us um this was the 109th edition of heart of poland Join us on the impossible mission to discover the heart of Poland through change makers, critics, authors, artists, historians, poets, singers, painters, beekeepers, you name it. We've spoken to them about the amazing things they're doing in the amazing country of Poland. So do make sure you check out the firstnews.com, which is the premier English language resource uh, for everything and anything to do with uh, Poland. However, as you know, other sources are available. Shimon's already mentioned Krakow.play. No, no competition here. We're all working no, together. No. So, so feel free to check out both. Do thefirstnews.com and then head over there. Uh, and on thefirstnews.com, not only will you find the latest news about anything and everything that's going on in Poland, but of course, you will also find Heart of Poland and its sister program, What's Up Poland, with myself and John Beecham, where we look at uh, fascinating, funny, inspiring, and exciting news stories about Poland. So there's plenty on offer. Dig in, check out the next episode, and I'll see you again for another episode of Heart of Poland. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.